Right, Talio there champs, now we're going to talk about today the Tough Gaming Z690 Plus Wi-Fi D4 for DDR4 and also if you have the DDR5 model, the D5, it's the same thing so you might want to watch this video as well. This is where you start your Z or Z690 build. I actually have the cheapest one they have pretty much. This is their Prime Z690 and this bad boy here which is you know DDR5, this is for creators, this thing is amazing. It is expensive but oh man, you can feel how heavy this is compared to the other ones this is a serious piece of kit if you're a creator thunderbolts everything like that but here's the deal when it comes to intel 12th generation or z690 platform if you get one of these azus motherboards and it doesn't matter even if you get their cheaper one for gaming i tell you right now these things can overclock as good as the most expensive motherboards okay the reason you get these like beast higher end models and even like you know the extreme and stuff like that the rog extreme or even strix or whatever is because you want Want extra bells and whistles okay you want thunderbolt you want pci express 5 ssd you want better build quality more ssds and yes you do get more premium vrms and just better build quality overall but these won't hold you back believe me now it's important to know I'm talking only about Zeus here, okay? Now, Zeus sent me out these motherboards. I actually bought this one for myself. So money where my mouth is, you know, this is what I bought. But Zeus sent me out these motherboards and I have to return them. But I have a gigabyte and it's a keeper, okay? So I thought I'd use that. Oh my God, I wasted so much time building that system, trying to get the RAM to work. And by the way, 12th generation are actually really picky with RAM. First, the gigabyte failed on me, okay? Do you think I could get half? the ram to work at full speed on the gigabyte no i wasted a day trying to get the ram to work at its fastest speed i plugged the same ram into this okay and i just enabled xmp and wolf it worked straight away with the gigabyte it would not work xmp it would just crash i had to go in there manually set the stuff and i couldn't even get it at its full advertised speeds but whether you go ddr4 or ddr5 this is ddr5 kit from crucial I am actually using ballistics from Crucial DDR4 in this. But whether you go DDR4 or 5, I suggest you go look at the qualified memory. And my recommendation is just go Crucial because Crucial is pretty much the only RAM that I've had that works in all of them at their advertised speeds. I tested G-Skill, some Corsair. Actually, the Corsair did work at its advertised speed as well. But I've never had problems ever with any Crucial RAM. I recommend them. I'll leave a link in the description. I use Crucial SSDs as well. That's one thing I would suggest with these builds make sure the ram is qualified for this but let's unbox this thing and have a look so i have actually built this and used it already i actually have the prime in my system now but there's the wi-fi so wi-fi 6 and then this isn't the most expensive motherboard it's sort of like mid-range i guess it's not entry level but as you can see there tough components you get here there's not much else in there you can see some cables some decals yeah it's pretty cool you actually get some decals but one of the things about tough you know they've always been robust systems okay so you get all this certification there so there it is in all its glory the z690 tough gaming motherboard ddr4 version doesn't matter ddr5 is pretty much exactly the same of course it supports intel 12th generation this has dr moss power stages and by the way i'm going to show you some of the world records i set with the prime motherboard yes i overclocked the cheapest azus motherboard and it handled that no problem Problem. the cpu got too hot before the vrms buckled i can tell you right now so don't worry about it if you get the cheapest one you'll be able to overclock no problems this does have pci express 5.0 16 slotter there it has four m.2s wi-fi 6 intel 2.5 gig ethernet hdmi display ports usb 3.2 gen 2x2 type c and you can even have front usb 3.2 gen 2 type c six sata ports thunderbolt 4 support and of course the rgb with the aura sync there you know it actually looks good compared to the prime it is like a level up there you get a heat sink here you don't get a second heat sink with the ssds on the prime heat sink there for the main one still guard around the pci express 5 the only criticism i have is i would love a fan header around here but i guess you can go underneath and use one of these fan headers here of course being the mid-range you're not going to get the highest end audio 
I mean, it's certainly good enough, but I mean, that's what these models are for and the higher end models. I mean, you pay for what you get, right? And this is fanless too, so you're not going to hear a fan on the motherboard. I wish Zeus would send me one of these for my build. But anyway, one difference this has over the Prime is it does have the backplate on the IO ports on the back, okay? So with the Prime, you don't get that. You get the, you know, the tin one and you have to install it yourself. This one here, it's built in. Much better solution there. So I do recommend if you've got an extra couple of bucks, you know upgrade from this prime and get this tough one it's just a bit better build quality etc so stay tuned for my reviews on the other motherboards i mean it's got everything you want okay you can overclock these 12th gen to the max i could pump over 300 watts into the prime and this is even better than the prime so you know you got no problem there i mean if you want extra bells and whistles go up to the strix or the extreme or whatever you know the the creator laptop if you want creator stuff and this one you actually get you know a free subscription to adobe but you know when you buy an azus the ram's gonna work they're not gonna make make a hundred revisions of the same motherboard more there's more qualified memory they do more work on the bios and another thing too the bios on these azus motherboards is like heads and shoulders above anything else i mean the other you know manufacturers biases are actually a joke and by the way another reason you get this tough gaming is you get more features in the bios compared to the prime and from my perspective with azus it's just headache free i know the stuff's going to work the ram's going to work be able to over the clock it to its maximum potential anyone that can choose will We'll probably go with Zeus, so I'm pretty sure of that. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.